Okay, welcome back. So in this section, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go create our PreSonus uh, a user account on PreSonus.com and we're gonna register our bundle, our audio box, and we're gonna download our Studio One Artist software. So before we do that, let's talk a little bit about the computer that I'm using itself because uh, people have some, uh, are misled uh, and there's a lot of misinformation on online about people thinking that when you get a, a little home studio like you have here that you need a really high spec, really high performance computer to start recording music in your studio and I want to kind of clear that up. So first of all, you don't need to have a real high-end, brand new, latest and greatest, you know, $10,000 computer to record music. I'm using for this course um, a 2011, early 2011 MacBook Pro laptop. I'll show you the specs in a second. Um, and this is running an operating system that as of the recording of this video is probably three versions old. Okay, so let me just show you the specs of my computer. Now, whether you're using a Mac or PC, it really doesn't matter. But just to, just to, to let you know, that you don't need to have, <clears throat> excuse me, a real high-end computer. Again, this is a 13-inch MacBook Pro, early 2011. It has an i5 2.3 gigahertz. It's a dual-core processor. It's not even a quad-core. 16 gigs of memory. Now, you only need to have eight as far as the minimum requirements to run Studio One, but um, usually memory is the, is the most uh, inexpensive thing to upgrade in your computer, and I recommend having at least 16 gigabytes, but you don't need to have that. Um, and I have a, um, a solid state drive in here, but if you have a mechanical drive, that's fine. So I just wanted to show you that you don't need to have a high-end, high-spec computer. Now, if you're going to be running much larger sessions uh, in Studio One as you get down your recording career here and you start increasing the gear and start upgrading your studio and you're running larger track counts for mixing and or recording or both, um, there will be a time where if you have an older computer, the specs of that computer is not going to be able to keep up with the demand that you're putting on it. And then you're going to need um, probably an upgrade at one point. But just to get started, you don't need that, okay? I'm purposely using an older computer, so throughout this series you can see that you don't need a high-end computer, okay? So let's get that out of the way. So now let's, uh, first thing we want to do is we're going to want to go over to the studio, or PreSonus, excuse me, website here. So here it is, PreSonus.com. You're going to go here. Now, if this is the first time you're on PreSonus.com, and if you bought this uh, studio, bundle it probably is but you may have some other PreSonus equipment um, but either way you're gonna click on uh, top right hand corner here log into my PreSonus account okay <clears throat> so we're gonna log in it's gonna take you to this screen now again if you're a returning customer you're just gonna go ahead and sign in here on the left hand side of the screen which I am and will do uh, but if you're brand new to PreSonus.com you're gonna come over to the right side here and you're gonna go create my PreSonus account and it's gonna take you through your name you know address all your all your information it's gonna ask you to create a username and password you're gonna do all of that and then it's the, uh, you're gonna uh, submit it and then PreSonus will send you an automated email asking you to confirm your email address you'll do that and then once you've done that and all that happens pretty instantaneously you'll have your username and password to go ahead and log into your new account. So that's what we're gonna do now. So go ahead, if you haven't done so, pause the video, go create your account and then come on back. Um, and then once you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna log in. So I'm gonna log in with my username and password here. Okay, and this is gonna bring up um, my profile and you can go ahead in your profile and add a picture. You can put some information about yourself, your email and all that stuff. Okay, but the thing that we wanna do is we want to uh, register a product. Okay, so we're gonna click on this orange button here. And it's gonna ask us what type of product do we wanna register. So we wanna use the drop down arrow. We wanna register hardware. Even though we're downloading Studio One, which is software, this is Studio One is all part of the Audio Box Studio Bundle package, right? And that's hardware. So we're really registering our Audio Box bundle. Now it's gonna ask you for when did you purchase it. You can just choose whenever you purchased the unit. And then you're gonna enter your serial number. Now your serial number is located in two places. It's gonna either be on this little index card that comes in the bag, uh, the PreSonus manual that we talked about in the earlier sections. The serial number is right down here. It is also located on the underneath underside of your audio box so you can flip those over and make sure that the audio box serial number and this little card matches to make sure the paperwork matches and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to enter your serial number in here okay <clears throat> and once you do that you're going to click i have read and agreed to the terms of service you're going to hit register and hopefully it'll register it may think for a bit depending on the speed of your internet connection <clears throat> so okay here we are so it says your product has been successfully registered now let's view our product just so you can see and I'll take you around your, your account a little here 
So if you click view your product, here it is, the Audio Box Studio Ultimate Bundle, okay? That's what we've just registered. Here's my serial number that I just entered, and this is when it was registered. Now, let's say you decide one day you're gonna get ambitious a year from now, and you're gonna sell your Audio Studio Ultimate Bundle, and you're gonna go out and buy a whole <clears throat> higher end uh, home recording studio rig, and you wanna sell this to somebody in your family or friends or whatever, um, you can deregister this from your account and then that'll allow the next person that owns the hardware um, to go ahead and register it under their account. Make sense? So just keep that in mind. So now that we have all of the audio box stuff here, you can see what's included in this bundle. So right under here, this product comes with Studio One Artist, Studio One Four Artist, which is right here. And here's our serial number for it. And we'll download that. It also comes with some free plugins here as well. The Plugin Alliance, uh, Brainworks, uh, third-party plugins. It's got a couple of compressors and EQs we'll download. It has a lexicon reverb. It has some uh, other stuff here as well. So you can download all of this stuff and I urge you to download it. But for what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna download Studio One. But if we scroll down here, you'll see, um, again, here's the installers. Here's Universal Control, uh, which is like an application uh, that you can run along with your interface, especially if you have something like a Studio 192 interface. Uh, we don't need to do this right this moment. We wanna download um, Studio One. So if you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go download installer, okay, and you can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner it's starting to download. Okay, so um, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna download your installer. I urge you to do that. And then download all of these extensions as well. Um, you wanna see all of that stuff, okay? And depending on your internet connection will depend on how long it actually takes to download. As you can see, it's already done here. You can even download the universal control and get all that installed as well. If you're on a PC, you'll see that it says for PC, or if it gives you a choice, just pick the platform that you're on. Okay, now before we install Studio One, I just want you to take a look around your account. So if you wanna always go back to your profile to see all the products that you have registered for with your PreSonus account, you could just come up uh, here on the bar here and go to my products and as you can see here my products I have other studio or uh, excuse me I have other uh, PreSonus gear I have a fader port here you can see I registered I have an AR16 USB mixer here I have a monitor station I have the audio bundle that we the audio box bundle that we just registered together I also have the audio box I too and we'll be talking about some of these other things later in this series as other peripherals you may want to add to your studio at one point or another so there's the hardware and then here's the software um, here's studio one artist that we just registered today I personally own studio one professional so you'll see all my other uh, serial numbers here as well and then if there's any add-ons or plugins or anything that you might have purchased down the road from PreSonus it would all be located here so I urge you to get familiar with the my product section um, of uh, of your PreSonus account. You'll always have all your serial numbers there. You'll be able to always download uh, stuff to your computer. So if you get a new computer down the road and you want to reinstall Studio One, you just come to your My PreSonus account and you can do that. So now that we have Studio One um, uh, downloaded here, the installer, let's just click on that. We're going to double click. I'm going to minimize the browser here for a second. <clears throat> Okay, so here's Studio One 4. So again, this is on a Mac. A Windows PC will be slightly different, but I'm sure you know how to install programs. I'm just gonna take this and drag this to my Applications folder. Okay, and then I can go ahead and I can open that. It's gonna take a minute here. Again, this is an older computer, so it could take a little bit of time. <clears throat> okay, here it is right here. So I'm just gonna double click on it, open for the first time. I'm going to kind of close my applications window here. It says this application is downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes. If you have any firewalls or security settings on your PC or Mac, you want to make sure you turn those off so you can allow yourself to open this. And here we go. So here is Studio One. Uh, here is our Studio One um, installer here. So we're going to activate our product, activate my product, my purchase version of Studio One. Uh, you can try a full version as a demo if you wanted to, but we're not going to do that here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to activate this. Now it's going to ask, ask us for the product key. <clears throat> and you purchased this. Uh, you didn't per you have purchased an upgrade to Studio One. We didn't do that. So let's get our... Okay, we need to get our product key. So that's going to be back in our account, right? So we're going to go back to our account here. Here is our audio. Here is our audio box bundle. Here is our, let's get our registration key if we can find it. 
That's the serial number. Let's just take a look. The install. Oh, here it is right here. Serial number. So right under here where it says Studio One Artist, you see this number down here? This is the key. We're going to do Control C or copy. That is the serial number key that we need to put into this box so they know that it's a real version of Studio One. And we're just going to copy and paste that in there. And we're going to hit activate and hopefully it'll activate. It should. Thank you. Studio One has been activated to run on this computer. <clears throat> now, I believe you have five downloads. You can put this on I think it's four, excuse me, four different computers. So you can have Studio One registered on four different computers. And then down the road, if you swap out a computer, you can deregister one license and you can put it on another. That's really, really cool. A lot of DAWs don't allow you to do that. You have to purchase a license for each computer. Um, Studio One, with, with your purchase, you can put it on uh, four computers. So we're gonna say, okay. So now that it's activated, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna launch it for the first time here. <clears throat> Okay, and here it is. And then it's gonna the first time that you and you do this here, it's gonna uh, it's gonna put up this uh, this little message here. Uh, we've already downloaded it. We've already okay. So it's gonna want to know: Do you want to download all the additional uh, software plugins and such, and additional content that comes with it? So Studio One comes with additional content, including loops, samples, third-party plugins. Please select the packages you want to install now. What you just installed and why it only took a couple of minutes is we just installed the basic Studio One application, right? <clears throat> now this is giving us all the additional content that comes for free with Studio One. And I urge you to download it all. Um, so you wanna go ahead and you wanna download it. It's gonna tell you right down here on the bottom about how much space on your hard drive it's gonna take. And depending on you know how long it's gonna take to download. Now again, I'm running a wireless connection in my studio here. I recommend that you maybe can plug, if you can plug your computer in with, with your ethernet cable, cause that's gonna make things a little bit um, quicker for you. Or you can just start downloading this at night before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning, it'll be fine. It tells you how much space you have left on your hard drive. So I have almost 160 gigabytes available to me. I only need a little less than five gigabytes to install this. So I'm gonna install all of this and it's gonna ask you, where do you wanna install it? Um, and it's gonna ask the configuration, just choose recommended installation. You can download it from your PreSonus account. Okay, and then we can just hit install. So why don't you go ahead now, we'll stop the video here get to this point, get Studio One installed, <clears throat> get all of your stuff downloaded uh, to your computer, all the additional content, and then when we come back for the next section, <clears throat> excuse me, we will start hooking up some of our hardware and uh, we'll, we'll start moving down the road here. So go ahead, get everything installed, and then come on back for the next section.